What if I told you that hackers can create ghost aircraft in seconds, which could cause massive flight delays and mid-air collisions? As a pilot, I decided to combat this issue by building a cheap Raspberry Pi based device called Flightcatcher, and finally test it out in flight. In order to broadcast fake aircraft into the sky, hackers exploit a surveillance technology called ADSB otherwise known as Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. ADS-B allows an aircraft to broadcast its position, airspeed, altitude, and other information in real time. This data is received by air traffic controllers and other nearby aircraft, allowing them to see each other and avoid collisions. While ADS-B offers many benefits to the aviation industry, it has some drawbacks. One of its main flaws is that ADS-B messages are unauthenticated and unencrypted, making it vulnerable to ground-based cyber attacks. A hacker could easily fabricate a ghost aircraft by transmitting false information, wreaking havoc onto the airspace. A hacker can do this by programming a software-defined radio to transmit false information about an aircraft, such as its velocity, position, and other information in the ADS-B format. Making it seem like a non-existent aircraft is actually present. One notable example of ADS-B spoofing occurred in 2015, when a hacker took control of an aircraft's navigation system and changed the information that was broadcasted by the aircraft's ADS-B transponder. The hacker was able to make the aircraft appear like it was in a different location, making others think that a non-existent aircraft was present in the airspace. Although this incident was uncovered by the FAA and the individual was arrested and charged with multiple offenses, this goes to show the potential risks of ADS-B spoofing and the importance of ensuring the security and integrity of the information transmitted by the system. To address this growing concern, I created a hardware prototype that hunts down spoof aircraft and displays the information onto a radar screen. This device builds upon the previous contributions of research conducted by security researchers such as Brad Haynes to perform spoof detection. The device consists of a 1090 MHz antenna, a FlightAware RTL SDR, a custom 3D printed case, a portable battery charger, and a micro USB cable. The device receives ADS-B information passed through the dumb 1090 decoder for the antenna and the software-defined radio, which is then passed into a convolutional neural network written with Python to detect whether or not the aircraft is spoofed. A neural network is a machine learning algorithm based on the structure and function of the human brain. It is capable of handling and analyzing large amounts of data making an ideal solution for identifying patterns and anomalies in the received ADS-B data. I trained the neural network on a data set of valid ADS-B signals, as well as a generated spoofed set of aircraft signals to teach Flycatcher how to detect and flag any suspicious ADS-B signals. It does this by checking for discrepancies in the signal's characteristics, such as its location, velocity, and identification. The result outputted by the neural network is then displayed onto a radar screen on the Raspberry Pi, allowing users to detect spoofed aircraft near them. To test out this device, I brought it with me for an hour-long flight to scan for a wide variety of aircraft en route. During the flight, the ADS-B data was stored into a JSON file alongside providing live coverage of other aircraft in the same airspace. After the flight, the data was fed into a neural network to analyze any spoofed aircraft I might have encountered. Going forward, to make more improvements to the device, I plan to integrate more advanced machine learning models to increase the sensitivity to spoofed aircraft data and decrease the amount of false positives. All in all, ADS-B spoofing is worrying because it is expected to become the primary technology behind the FAA's next generation transport system and is expected to become mandatory around the world. With the increasing reliance on ADS-B technology, it is vital that we take steps towards defending our skies from aircraft spoofing. I hope that the development of Flycatcher inspires more people to join our flight against spoofed aircraft. If you have a Raspberry Pi lying around and want to try this project out for yourself, the link to the GitHub repository for this project is linked below in the description. If you're interested in learning more about my work and projects, my website is also linked in the description. We'll see you next time.